Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Pisces. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for whenever it resonates. Uh, keep in mind that the timing is fluid, okay? It really is, and this reading may or may not be for you. I forgot to put my lotion on, so just hold on a second. I can't, I can't do this without, I gotta have lotion. So, <laughs> Bear with me. I mean, I could start this over now that I have too much lotion, but I think I will just rub it on and then we'll get started. Uh, yeah, I'm a lotion f fanatic, okay? Uh, and I happen to have a dress on so I can uh, rub it on my legs too. Anyhow, <laughs> sorry about that. So, anyway, let's get started. Uh, what do we have? What do we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Okay, what do we got for Pisces? Hmm. Well, that one just came right out, came flying out. Bell announcement. So there's going to be some sort of announcement. There is going to be an announcement. That's a pile. We don't want a pile. We only want a few. Now they're having a hard time because my hands are all lotioned up. But it is what it is because I can't I can't do it without lotion. Uh so yeah. Shark! Take care. Take care. Or there will be a loss of material wealth. So you got some sort of shark around you. Take care. Take care. All right. I mean, this shark looks mean. You got I mean, look, they got somebody here that is after you. This is jaws, right? Could be some news of legalities that are coming up. We have a Libra here. Libra is justice. You see the scales? The, that's legal contracts. It's legalities. It's the scales of justice. You could also be dealing with a Libra. So I feel like there's some sort of contract that you need to be aware of. There's going to be some news of legalities. Something to do with a contract. Probably going to affect your bank account. That ain't good, is it? Nobody wants to hear that shit. Honeymoon. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So you may be traveling with somebody or traveling to somebody, getting together with somebody. This doesn't have to be a marriage, but this is enjoying time together, maybe on a vacation, something like that. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So there's something you need to open your heart in some way. You're protecting yourself. There's deception here. I just cut it to deception. So somebody is wearing a, I think it says self, a false self mask in this relationship. So there's deception, there's masks, somebody is wearing, both, several people are wearing masks. They're not being true to themselves. So, what do we have for Pisces? Justice, karma, contracts. There is some sort of warning here, though, with that shark card. There's going to be an announcement. What do we have for Pisces? Hmm. Five of Wands reverse. Now that is 
the end of a conflict. You've been in some sort of battle, but this battle is ending. Congratulations. Queen of Wands. Two of Pentacles. Page of Swords reverse. That's not good news. That's a that's message. That's information. You're going to get some sort of information that you are not going to like. There is some, there's an enemy disguised as a friend, or you have an enemy here. This person is not your friend. Eight of Cups reversed. Ace of Wands upright. And that's in your future. Three of Cups reversed. You're parting ways from somebody. You definitely, that's under the Page of Swords reversed. You definitely have somebody here that is not your friend. Absolutely, 100%. I don't know if it's a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could also be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is parting waves. There's a lack. This isn't a friendship. This is gossiping, somebody talking behind your back. Um, these people, it's more than one person. There's You have somebody that is around you that they are not your friend. This is somebody that uh, engages in a lot of drama. Ten of Cups in the now. This is like, and then the King of Pentacles reversed. On the bottom is the Four of Wands reversed. Somebody's definitely. I don't know if they're. You're gonna get. I don't know. I hate to say this shit, but I don't know if somebody is go, was going after your money. If they're gonna sue you or something like that. Hopefully that is not the case. Uh, King of Pentacles reversed is greedy, selfish. Uh, cunning clever in it just for the money there's somebody that is uh, doing something illegal to obtain money and this can go vice versa this is somebody that is doing something illegal to obtain money I'm not sure if you've been in a partnership with this person because the four of wands is in reverse this may have to do with a home may have to do with a foundation or a business um, this isn't uh, a solid foundation this, this is a messy, messy, messy situation. I don't know if you're dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could also be dealing with a, a fire sign, like I said, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like you need to be, you're going to need to be strong. I, feel, I don't know if somebody has left you, they've left you, or they're leaving you because of this Eight of Cups, or they, or they may want to come back around. They've got some sort of ulterior motive. This person is not your friend. I think that you need to be very, 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 very careful. I feel like you're going to be dealing with some changes and you're going to need to be flexible. You're going to need to adapt. You're going to, there's a lot of things going to be happening. There is. It feels like you're going to be dealing with some chaos in the very near future. It does have to do, I feel like this chaos has to do with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But I also feel like you have an earth sign here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, because of this king of pentacles. Could have to do with a family member. You're dealing with somebody that uh, is lacks integrity. There is somebody here that lacks integrity, and you know this. I don't know who it is, but this person is maybe a uh, little bit younger than you, probably not that much. This person is. Uh, it's almost like they're waging some sort of war with you. You have a bright future ahead, but you have to choose that bright future. You may have to walk away. You may have to leave because of this eight of cups is in the, it's right in the middle and it's reverse. It's like you, you know, this is like, this is staying put in a situation where there's no emotional fulfillment. There's a need to leave, but you're just thinking about it. You know, it's time to go, but this is, this is, um, pretending that everything is okay. Refusing to budge. I mean... Thinking about leaving. Thinking about leaving. You have a bright, bright, bright future ahead because the Ace of Wands. If you were to leave, whatever this is, this is an exciting opportunity for growth. You may have to cut your losses and just go. 
I feel like you just need to cut your losses. You're dealing with somebody that is very selfish and greedy. Uh, because we have the we have the King of Pentacles in reversed. That is the. Um, That's what's holding you back, money. There's some sort of money that is holding you back or somebody that is after your money or something like that. Four of, four of Wands reverse is the end of a commitment. I feel like you are, I don't know if you guys are going through some sort of breakup or not. Or that's what it looks like. There's a separation here that needs to happen. If it hasn't happened already, you may need to find your courage and your confidence and your willpower to do that. I do feel like you you may be dealing with somebody that is leaving you as well. They're going back. Somebody is going back. The Eight of Cups reversed. They may be going back to, you know, a family member or they may be reconciling with somebody. They left, now they want to go back. They want to go someplace else. You're going to be dealing with some definite changes. This is chaotic. It's a lot. It's a lot to deal with. There's a lot of players here. There's a lot of people that are involved. I think there's a lot of bitching and gossiping and talking. You know, talking, you know, that is causing some sort of problems for you. But you have an exciting opportunity with this Ace of Wands. That's in your future, thank the Lord. Because this is an exciting opportunity for growth. This is a fresh start, starting from scratch. Just go for it. Just do it. Just go. Leave. Leave. Whatever it is that you need to leave. Because the Eight of Cups is right before that. There's something that you need to leave that you've been reluctant to leave behind. There's definitely an opportunity for happiness here, a lot of happiness, but you're going to have to be strong. Some of you have somebody that is, uh, I don't know if they're forcing something. It feels like somebody is trying to force something on you. You're being, it's like they're trying to force you to leave. They may be fighting with you, trying to force you to leave. Or you're, try, or you're trying to force them to leave. I feel like there's force here. Forcing somebody to leave. This is a battle. This isn't love. I do believe there is some sort of news that is going to come out. It's not good news. It has to do with competition. There's a lot of competition here. You, maybe you were unaware of the competition. You're going to be dealing with some competition. Or you are dealing with some competition. There could be some, some... I don't know if there's cheating. There could be some cheating going on with the Three of Cups reverse. That is definitely... Uh, we have somebody here that is emotionally disconnected they are they have a they have a strong desire for change they're looking they're competing they're looking for something else you're dealing with some but you're dealing with a strong competitor here that's what I see You're going to need to adapt. There's going to be a realignment. That The overall outcome is the Two of Pentacles. That's, a, that's adapt. Be flexible. You need to let something go. It's time to take that next step. You need to. You need to. It's time to take that next step. You have a new exciting opportunity. I don't know if some of you may have a new partner. You know, a new exciting, passionate new partner. But, you're, you know, I think that there is something that you are holding on to that you need to let go of. It's not being practical, not being, not being practical, only in it for the money. Somebody is only in it for the money with the King of Pentacles reversed. I do believe there's going to be a loss of money. You know, you may be losing some money because somebody's leaving, somebody's leaving or the competition is winning. You know, I don't know what this competition is, but the first card out is the Five of Wands, which is a competition extreme in reverse. I think there's some extreme competition here and I feel like you are, uh, I don't know if somebody is giving away your secrets, they're telling somebody stuff about you and it's going to cause a conflict. 
This person, you may have thought they were your friend. They're not your friend. They're, they're not on your side. Uh, I don't know. if it's Somebody that is uh, younger than you. This is somebody that is younger than you. I feel like you've been wanting to leave or you've been wanting them to leave. There's going to be a realignment. There is. Somebody has a new sexual partner here. That they are very, that they're looking at, they want it. There's passion. There's growth. There's an opportunity for uh, growth. Okay, there is. But the only way to get it is to let go of something that has been financially stable. Okay, it's caused you some. It's given you some sort of financial stability. But there's no emotional fulfillment here. But I feel like you have an opportunity for a lot of happiness here. You could be dealing with a fire sign. I don't know why I keep thinking fire. Maybe it is a fire sign or somebody that has a lot of fire in their chart. This person is is uh, looking outside. I don't know if they're looking outside the relationship. If they're going back to somebody that they were with in the past or they're they're they are uh, leaving for another relationship that's what i think i see somebody is going back because the eight of cups is they're going back they're going back to somebody a previous relationship or they're going someplace else they're going and this could be a past life relationship i don't know I think there's going to be a fight, and I think it's going to be a big one. There's there's aggressive behavior. There's nasty words. There's, uh, I don't know if somebody has been caught doing something on social media, you know, communicating or whatever the case is. There's, there's, there's some sort of situation that is unfolding here that is going to... Uh, well, this is parting ways with a... I feel like it's a, somebody that you live with. Could even be a child. Doesn't have to be. It could also be a partner. It could be a love partner. This person is not happy. Somebody is really, 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 really not happy. And they have a strong desire for something more. They have a strong desire for change. Somebody is going to be taking another step. They are. They are. They are. They're ready. They're going to be taking a step. They've been ignoring. They've been ignoring. They've been trying to... Uh, handle the handle this they've been you know and I don't know if it's you we have somebody here that has been really struggling with uh, the competition there is a huge competition here first card out There's a need to take action. Somebody is about to take action. I think they've been thinking about leaving and they're leaving. They're leaving a relationship. I feel like we have the end of a relationship here. But this this allows you a fresh start because the Ace of Wands is a fresh start. I think that, and I feel like you, you, you I don't know if you have a new partner here or what. Somebody has a new partner here. Could be the person that is leaving. You, the page of swords reverse is not good news. It's a it's an unexpected message. It's unexpected conflict. Get prepared to deal with some unexpected conflict. What I want to say is freedom, freedom. So it, it feels like you're going to be broken free from some sort of contract. With that Libra card, you're going to be free, and the scales are going to be balanced. I think I think that you have been. Having a heart, this is a profit and a loss because that's what the Two of Pentacles is. So you, there's a profit and a loss. It's not just a profit, it's not just a loss. It's a profit and a loss. You gain some, you lose some. So you lose something to gain something, okay? So I do believe, ooh, judgment. This is the end of things, making a judgment call. This is a life-changing decision. Again, this is karma. This is legalities. There's going to, I think that you are going to be receiving some legalities. Somebody may end up in court. They could get taken to court. This is the end of things. There could also be a reconciliation here. And this is past life. We could have some pa two people that were together in a past life that are coming together. This is some sort of reconciliation with the past. 
This is forgiveness as well. This is a judgment call. Final, final call. A wake-up call. Somebody's about to get a wake-up call. This is the end. Making, making a judgment call. It's time. It's time to release. This is a card of acceptance, of transcendence, the end. You think about Judgment Day. Judgment, this is when you're ready to be judged. Somebody is ready to be judged. They're ready to be honest. They, they need to be honest, you know, because there's consequences. Anyhow, judgment. Judgment is a card of truth. It is a card of acceptance, life-changing decision. This is the end of things. It is the end of a trial. The trial, it's over. It's over. This is the end of a trial. It's over. Four of Wands still on the bottom in reverse. That is the end of a commitment. This is, there's, there's nothing to celebrate here. There's no, this ain't fun. It's no fun. It's, it's not happy. There's no happiness. This is the end of something. It's the end of this trial. It's the end. This is the final verdict. It's finally over. It's time to release and move on from that bad choice. I feel like you guys are going to be starting a new life with that Ace of Wands. That's a, that's a fresh start. Letting go of something that you were holding on to for financial reasons. You were holding on to it just for the money, just for what you, the money, you know. I see a big change here. You're about to go in a new direction. There is going to be an announcement that changes your life. You're headed towards happiness. And you're going to need to adapt. You are definitely going to need to adapt. You're losing something that brought you income. I'm sorry to say that. I know that. I don't want to hear that either. Um... And it's interesting. There's going to be a loss of material wealth. I mean, I can't make that up. There is. And it, and it has something to do with the competition. There's karma here with judgment and with the Libra card, the justice. That's justice. There's some sort of karma. Somebody is, is getting some sort of karma. Get prepared for a change. There's going to be a realignment. I feel like you have a, I feel like you have, there's a fire sign that is taking some sort of action against you. Or they're re-reconciling with somebody. Oh, I just cut it to the judgment again. So yes, this is definitely a judgment call. It's a life-changing decision that is being made. This is the end of things. Truth coming out, truth being revealed. There's court here, too. I feel like somebody's going to end up in court. They're getting served something. Magician reverse. Now, that is manipulation. Master manipulator. Lies. Deception. You're dealing with somebody that. There's, there's lies here. There is some sort of lies. There's a lack of awareness. Um, this is a no, 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 no. You're not going to get what you want. Somebody is not. I think you're going to be fighting with somebody that, uh, has been, uh, has to do with money. Okay. It definitely has to do with money. And this may have to do with relocation. You know, where do you want to relocate to? You may need to relocate. Somebody is relocating. Somebody is relocating. They're moving. Because this is a dead end. There's no reason to stay here. There's a relocation on the horizon. Temperance. You need to accept an ending. This is a need. There's a need to accept and allow and release. It's like a death. It's, it's like there's a, some sort of ending that happens. I feel like it happens very suddenly. It's a sudden ending because of a massive 
Now, it's either because of the competition or there's a battle or there's a fight. This is war. It feels like it's some sort of serious battle. And I think a lot of it has to do with money. You're going to be parting ways from, I don't know, friends, family, or a relationship, or somebody is, is leaving you. It's, it could go either way. Somebody is definitely leaving. I feel like there's a reconciliation. I hate to say that, but some of that's what some people want. I mean, a reconciliation with somebody from the past. That's what the judgment is. I mean, I. it is what it is, right? So anyhow, um, it's also being held accountable, being held accountable. There's karma here. Somebody's about to be held accountable for their actions, and they're going to lose some something of financial value. Last card out is King of Pentacles reversed. That is a loss of money. There's a loss of money here. And I think it's going to cause you discomfort. I do think it's going to cause you discomfort. But I also feel like there's freedom. There's freedom. This is exciting. It's starting with a clean slate, doing your own thing, going in a new direction. You're going to be free. It's almost like you're free to go. You're free. You're free. You're free. You're free. Whatever that means, you're free. You're free to start over. You're free to start from scratch. Now we got the four of pentacles, or four, I can't get it right for any reason because Mercury retrograde. Four of wands, that is a happy, happy commitment in the future. I was clarifying that ace of wands, that is in the future. That is a happy home, that is a marriage, that is a get together, that is uh, a new home. Because the ace of wands is new, a new home, a new commitment uh, where there's a lot of uh, ease. happiness happy new beginning you have you i feel like some of you are, are gonna there, there's a there's a there's a new start there's a fresh start where you will be this is a realignment you're gonna be uh going in a new direction towards something that is more aligned with you i feel like you're also dealing with a partner that is not i feel like this person i don't know if they're leaving they're not coming back they're going there's somebody that is going back to somebody from their past and it could be your person but it leaves you free it leaves you free to start fresh i mean i do see you being in a happy place being in a happy place where <laughs> There's growth, there's warmth, it's beautiful. But you may not have the money or the job or something like that that you had with whoever this person is that is taking it away. Anyway, Pisces, uh, get prepared. I feel like it's a sudden departure. I think there's a sudden departure. There could also be a sudden arrival. Somebody could be coming into your life very, very fast. I feel like there I feel like there's news there's news of legalities as well. So get prepared for that. There is somebody that is that is I don't know if they're, they're there's gonna be a change and it's gonna happen fast. So good luck.